Today I'm going to show you how to advertise your channel using the promotions tool in YouTube Studio. I'm going to tell you what it does, how to set it up, and I'll show you actual results from having used it on my own channel. I don't work for YouTube. I'm doing this on my own because I'm curious about the service. And I'll just say up front, it was a very bumpy road. And I'll tell you why in a few minutes. So what is the promotions tool? It's something that's only available to YouTubers. And at the time of this video, it's in beta and it's only accessible to a certain number of YouTubers. However, it will eventually be rolled out to everyone. In a nutshell, the promotions tool allows you to take one or more of your videos and make it appear as a single image ad within YouTube. It's not one of those commercials you see during a video. This is something that appears in the same area as where you see video thumbnails. It basically is a thumbnail, just branded as an ad, and it'll show up in the home feed, search results, and watch next. Promotions is not free. You basically pay money, just like an advertiser, and YouTube will make that video ad appear in front of viewers it thinks would be interested in watching that video. So it's not just showing it to random people. YouTube treats it as a targeted ad, just like all the other ads you see on YouTube. You would basically do this in order to get more views and subscribers. And if you sell some kind of other service through that video, like you're advertising a dog walking service or something, you could potentially see gains in the number of people buying that service as well. If you've ever been on Amazon and you've seen the sponsored results to your search, these ads are basically like that. Some may refer to this as pay to win. So here's the whole process in getting promotions set up. This will be my first time ever using it. First I'll go into YouTube Studio from my desktop computer. If you haven't been to Studio before, you simply go to YouTube, make sure you're signed in, click on your avatar in the top right corner, and click YouTube Studio. At this time I don't see promotions as an option on the phone app, so everything I do today will be from this desktop computer. The channel I'll be doing this to is my other channel called Gaming the Systems. It's been around for more than a year, has about 18,000 subs and 1 million total views, and it's also monetized. As far as I can tell, there are no restrictions in those categories. If you are a new channel with no subs and no views, you should be able to use this promotion if you think it's a wise thing to do. I'm going to click on the word content out to the side and click the promotions ribbon along the top. It gives me a little summary of the feature and shows an example using a recent video of mine. And that's what the ad would look like to someone if it shows up in their feed. And I'll select get started here I have to link the Google Ads account. If you've never paid for advertising before, you won't have one. I've never had one, so I'm going to click where it says select an account and pick the only option, which says create new account. Then I'll select next. Now I need to select the video I want to advertise. It must be one that's public or unlisted, and it must be at least 10 seconds long. Since this is a retro gaming channel, I'm going to pick a video that best represents the channel. I'll use this interface to select the video called My Top 10 Favorite Dreamcast Games. Down here it's showing me an example of what it would look like as an ad. I can click on policies to learn about what's acceptable in terms of the promoted videos you select. Like it can't have sexual content and so forth. There's an optional screen here that I can click and update a couple of things about how the video is presented to people. If you do update these fields here, it unfortunately does not update the preview. It would seem the promotion headline box allows me to give the video a different title and promotion description updates the name of the channel as it appears in that ad. It doesn't actually change the name of your entire channel. I chose to leave these fields as is. By the way, if I go back a screen by clicking previous, I can see it has assigned me an account number for the Google Ads account. I'm going to click next to get off that screen and next again. Here I can control what countries will see the ads. It has some of them already selected. So Google is basically telling me that these countries have a large market, so I probably should just leave them there. But if I wanna get rid of one, I can click the X next to the name of the country. I can also add the names of other countries in this section by 
by clicking into the blank section and just typing out the name of the country. And down here, I can pick certain languages to target. If you want the ads to be shown to everybody of all languages, then you leave that section blank. Hitting X brings me to a screen where I have to specify how much I want to spend. It'll estimate how many additional views that video will get based on what how much you specify. I'm going to spend $100. I can also select an end date to the promotion. I'm not expecting much out of this. Like I said, I'm curious about this feature. Ideally though, I would want people to watch that one video that I'm using to target them and then be interested in watching other videos on my channel and hopefully get some people to subscribe. If the people do get that far into my channel and they see some of the ads I put on my videos, I will get some ad revenue from them, but I'm probably not gonna get my whole $100 back. I'll click next and this is where I enter my billing information so they can charge me $100 and then I'll click promote. The video will then appear as an item under the promotions tab. The status says pending because Google is thinking about who to display the ad to using the information I supplied them, but they also probably have some of their own methods. They are the masters of targeting ads. If I want, I can pay to promote another video by clicking new promotion, but I'm just gonna do this one video. I mentioned that this was a bumpy ride. First of all, when I returned to YouTube a little later to check on the status, I got a message at the top of the screen that says my Google Ads account has been suspended. That's the one I formed a few minutes ago to place my first ad. Now this is not suspending my AdSense account, which is what I use to receive ad revenue from the commercials on my videos, nor is it suspending my YouTube account. All my videos are still out there and people can see them. It's still concerning though, since I'll eventually be paying $100 for this service and I want it to work, but it does have a fix it option and I'll click that and it brings me to a completely different dashboard on the Google side. In case you don't know, Google and YouTube are owned by the same company. It has a lot of different spots to go to, but I'm going to focus on the red error message that's at the top of the screen. It says they have detected suspicious payments on my account. There's a contact us option out to the right, which I'll click. It allows me to challenge the ruling by filling in some fields. I don't know why me paying them money would cause them to be suspicious. It seems like they would wanna take the money and ask questions later, but oh well, this is Google for you. When I submitted that challenge, it gave me the option to also verify myself, which says might speed up the process. So I selected that and it asked me a set of other questions. That same day, I got an email from Google saying that the account has been reactivated. It's possible that it would have eventually been reactivated on its own. Since this is my first time using the service, maybe it raised some red flags for them, but I didn't want to take any chances. That's why I submitted the challenge. I also became worried about the thumbnail. According to their preview, the sides of the original thumbnail were going to be cut off a little bit. So it kind of scrunches the wording that's on my thumbnail. So I redid the thumbnail and shrunk the wording a little bit. So it should look a little better to the people that see the ad. So that account was reactivated on a Friday, but the promotion stayed inactive until Tuesday. That's when the video ad started appearing in front of people. It gives me an active count of how many people have seen the ad, which is called impressions, how many people clicked on it and watched the video, which is called views, and how many new subscribers I got from all this. I can also look at the spike in traffic from this perspective. It appears to be presenting this ad to people in spurts. In the end, they ended up doing two spurts, and here's the final totals. I'm not sure why it says it cost $127 since I only selected $100, but I did check my credit card statement, and they only took out $100. What's funny is that my credit card company tried to block the charge because they thought it was suspicious, so I had to call the credit card company and they removed the flag. So in the end, it was a very bumpy ride, and I would not recommend this service service. It only netted me 375 extra views and 18 new subs, which wasn't worth $100. I will say it did do what it said it was going to do. It allowed me to basically force my video onto people. For some of you, it may be worth it, but for me, it was not. Thanks for watching.